1948, this body granted the power of eminent domain to the oil and gas industry for projects of public use. It did not, however, grant this power to natural gas liquids or their pipelines. Natural gas liquids, or NGLs, are mentioned nowhere in the statute, nor could they have been contemplated or intended. Members, I have the 1948 statute here, and I have the three amendments since then, and nowhere does it mention natural gas liquids. But there are two proposals currently in Kentucky to transport these natural gas liquids, and with the increased production around the country, there may be more in the future to come to our Commonwealth. So naturally, Kentucky landowners are being approached every day regarding these easements to purchase, with the companies sadly trying to claim the power of eminent domain for negotiating power. <clears throat> However, many, including the Attorney General, the Secretary for the Environment Cabinet, Energy and Environment Cabinet, and our own governor, agree House Bill 31 is needed, and the current law does not grant the right of eminent domain to natural gas liquids pipelines.